Detailed service about the deadliest mass shooting in San Mateo County history. We're learning about the warning signs that were simply ignored. Andrea Nakano spoke to a former FBI agent and also a psychiatrist who says the violence is an example of a failed mental health policy and gun laws. Two mass shootings in California in the last five days have taken 18 lives as investigators try to find out why the alleged shooters went on a rampage. Evidence is surfacing about one of the suspects' violent pasts. We don't look enough at the mental health crisis and how we're going to solve that. Some of it, I hate to say it, but maybe mandatory institutionalization is the way to go. Security analyst Jeff Harp was a former FBI agent. As a security analyst, he now investigates potential dangers in the workplace. Well, how many of these things do we have to have before we finally go, huh? Those warning signs were serious. Harp says the suspects in the vast majority of mass shootings have a history of mental illness. In 2013, a co worker of the man accused of killing seven in Half Moon Bay asked for a restraining order against Jun Li Zhao. The co worker claimed Zhao tried to suffocate him with a pillow and threatened him with a knife. It's not just one sign that tells you, oh my gosh, this person's going to go off the deep end. There's a, there's a culmination of events that happen that lead to this. The problem we have is we got to be able to put all those pieces of that puzzle together in a manner that allows us to act upon it. In the case in Southern California, the man in this surveillance video wrestled the weapon away from the shooter at a second location. Dr. David Spiegel, a psychiatrist with Stanford Health, says people can become a hero by just speaking up. I can't advise anyone who's in that kind of acute dangerous situation, but he saved lives. And so if you want a model of what to do, it's to take a threat seriously and do something about it and get help doing it. Dr. Spiegel says the pandemic and the isolation that came with it may have worsened some people's mental health issues. He adds, when you factor in living in a country where guns are accessible, it's a deadly combination. So the combination of people who lose perspective, who may get delusional or who just get angry or get drunk, and, and the ability to kill this many people that fast is just a dangerous combination and horrible things will and have happened and they will continue to until we do something about it. In the case of the Half Moon Bay shooter, authorities say Zhao legally purchased a semi-automatic handgun. As lawmakers grapple with the issue of gun control, the best advice for now is to report anything suspicious.